$20 a month plus shipping depending on where you live in Australia. It is a grocery subscription box. Uh, it has, uh, you know, more than $20 worth of stuff in it. Most of it is newer stuff to the market um, for you to try out. Uh, every month it comes with some kind of magazine. This month it is the Better Homes and Gardens magazine. Um, because the company that owns Red Paw Paw now, or it's also called Just Launched by Red Paw Paw, depending on how you read the thing, um, they are a magazine publishing company. So they send the latest edition, this is the May edition of the Better Homes and Gardens, or whichever magazine they decide to chuck in. Okay, so the first thing I see is a product from uh, Neutralis, which is actually a local brand. Um, this is the Natural Pore Pore Lip Butter. Um, there's a thing here, win stuff, but when I say local, these are actually based in Mount Barker, which is where we live. That is as local as it gets. Um, yeah, so it's just a honey and vanilla uh, lip butter so you know just the usual type of squeezy tube uh, lip ointment stuff so that's pretty good that always is useful um, there's this little makeup bag I'm guessing it's from designer brands which is another Australian brand uh, they're not my favorite brand um, I have some of their stuff but it's not usually that great or anything so this is just oh my god that stinks that's terrible oh got that great factory smell <clears throat> uh it's pink that's on the so inside bad. it's just all supposed to be like a little makeup bag thing um the smell is <laughs> it smells like someone died and then they put it into the factory there are a lot of drinks this time that one you're not having god damn it um, there is a whole bunch of different drinks here from Bundarum Ginger. So there's this one, which is the energy one. This has guarana and caffeine, which is why I said she's not having it. Uh, it'll go to somebody else in the family. What's that one? Uh, this is from Remedy Kombucha, the organic kombucha live culture apple crisp. Kombucha is a kind of a bit like um, a mushroomy type thing and it gets brewed. My mother used to have it all the time. Um, so apparently this one is uh, apple crisp. Then we have a Mount Franklin lightly sparking, sparkling mango. This one I've actually had before. This one's actually really good. Um, then there's one that's with raspberry in it. So those ones. And then there's this one, which is from Bundaram Ginger. This is um, ginger beer and pear, non-alcoholic. Uh, interesting. But it says beer. Isn't beer an alcohol? Uh, you sometimes. And then there's the lime version of the Mount Franklin Sparkling. So which one of those would you like to try? I would like the... Mango, raspberry, lime. Let's, let's, we had an accident over here. Can you stop doing a break everything, Mum? Uh, uh, don't do what I'm doing with your nails if you have fake nails. They're jewels, not tools. Mm, that's okay. slight aftertaste of mango. It's like that medication. It's like the things for colds. 
the, like, it's not the best. Water. I've, I've just got to say, but I'm, I mean, I've had sparkling water before. It's, it's clearly not my favourite. I prefer non-carbonated water. Duh. We have a, I guess this would be travel size, of the Schwarzkopf Volume Powder um, stuff for your hair. Uh, I, I don't need volume. <laughs> I don't need volume in my hair. This is not a problem I have. Uh, I, I don't know. Somebody might use it. Um, another drink, heavy on the drinks this month, um, the H2 Cocoa Coconut Water. This is the, uh, this has a full shot of coffee in it, apparently. This is the coffee flavoured one. Do you want to try coffee filled? Yes, because I think I'd like it better than whatever this was. Uh, yeah, I think most people would. Um, I'd rather drink coffee, to be honest. And you've never drank coffee, so... Actually, like... I have <gasps> multiple times. Oh. Remember that time when you said I could try your drink? Mm. And I did. <laughs> Good one. It's your Just call. got all over me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Don't worry me. Uh, there is, um, from the body shop, a Japanese matcha tea pollution clearing mask. Clearly, that was uh, aimed at me. There is a lot of coffee in it. <laughs> it tastes just oh. like coffee. Okay, there are two of the Nutrigrain to go banana nut things. I'm pretty sure we tried these one of the other times, and um, they're a little on the dry side and not our favourite. Uh, yeah. Um, but someone in the house will definitely eat them. And then we come to the amusing part in the bottom of this box. Uh, we've had a bit of warm weather the last couple of days. Clearly. Probably uh, wasn't the best idea to put them in the box. Uh, they sent us three blocks of chocolate. Can I have one of them? Can you see what's happened to my chocolate? Can I have one of them? <laughs> no, you can share one of them with your brothers. Uh, you share whole, one of them You will them. eat the whole block of chocolate on your own if I No, there's, there's, there's three yeah, of them. So these you ones. can have one. Then my brothers I, I, can I, have I one, and then I this. can have one. So this is the dark one. This is the raspberry one. Chocolate and raspberry are not my favourite, I have to say, although I do like dark chocolate. I'm sure somebody in the house will eat it. And then there's... And then there's two of the Dairy Milk Oreo chocolate. So we're actually going to try this one and see what it tastes like and try the Oreo one. We'll at least try them for you. Um, I can tell you this now, I'll enjoy it because it's chocolate. Um, see, that's what, you can see the little bits of raspberry. Oh, so I thought you hated dark chocolate. No, I love dark chocolate. But I prefer my dark chocolate with um, orange. Not too far. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm in a world of pleasure. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm in a world of. Mm. It's okay, it's not bad, it's just not great either. Um, I just can't believe um, how melted this got. <laughs> Like open it in the middle, it's just like... Um, and it's actually really soft as I'm doing it. <laughs> clearly, uh, this is this is what it looks like. Um, uh, clearly, uh, red pawpaw. Um, please don't put chocolate in the box for the next one because it'll literally be in the middle of summer. The next box is due in three months. Mm have some slightly melted chocolate. Actually, that one I could eat. It's mainly just chocolate mm. with crunchy bits in it. Yeah, it's chocolate with chocolate Oreos in it. Obviously.
chewy chocolate. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm just going to wash down the chocolate with the disgusting sparkling water. God damn it, Mom. It doesn't it. taste so bad when you're washing down chocolate with it because the chocolate adds a bit of sweetness. Because these don't have any... Um, hang on. Yeah, they don't have any sugar in them. They don't have any uh, added sugars. Um, and they have no sweeteners and no preservatives. It's literally just the water and the flavouring. Um, in this case, it is um, mango flavouring. So that's all it has in it. So... Um, and from that point of view, it's probably fine. Yeah, so uh, interesting box. Not my favourite in terms of um, range of stuff. Like, I mean, I know we have on our profile that we have like seven people living in the house, but you didn't need to send me seven drinks. Just, yeah, just saying. You didn't need to drink, send me seven drinks. I need um, this. Three box, three blocks of chocolate is probably not a bad idea in this house. <laughs> um, Why? Somebody will eat these. I will probably end up using the lip butter. Um, I I don't know what will happen to this because uh, I don't need volume. And at some point I will use the, the no, face I mask. Volume. I will probably hand this over to like my mother to use in a, one of her things that she does with her groups. Uh, yeah. So. Obviously worth a lot more than the, I think I pay $17.95 for shipping um, because it does have to come from interstate and it is a fairly, fairly big box. Um, but yeah, it's still more than $30 of, of $30 odd dollars of product. Because um, these blocks alone are like $5 in Australia. So, you know, that's like $15 plus a magazine that is $13 or something. So... It easily gets over the amount. I just would have liked other snacky things and not melted chocolate. No. Yeah, so that is the, that is it for our Red Paw Paw unboxing. If you want to subscribe, click down below. Leave us a thumbs up if you like unboxing type videos. And leave us a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya. Bye.